How's it going, YouTube? Let's do some scientific shit. Okay, on the car I've got an AVG charge cooler. I did a video a month or so ago. I decided that the AVG was gonna be better than this eBay one. I had some of you guys saying, yeah, the design's better, but how do we know? So I think today, let's do some experimenting, shall we? Right, what I'm gonna do is reverse the car up here as close to this bench as I can and I'm going to extend the water pipes in the back so we can put water to this charge cooler and that one in there we'll do it one at a time what I've got is a temperature probe thermal camera and a heat gun what we'll do is we'll set them up and see how they perform shall we right just a quick recap before we do anything this one is the AVT this one is an eBay one as you can see this one is physically larger than this one this one has against the flow cooling so the water comes in here goes out here the hot air comes in there comes out this end so everything's cooling along the same length this one is an across the flow cooling the water comes in at either end and out the other end so the water's flowing across this way and the air comes in and out so the air is flowing across this way so in theory this one to me should be less efficient because the air is only getting cooled across this space rather than the full length and also as the water's coming across and hitting the hot air the water's heating up so as it gets to like this sort of position the water will be a lot warmer so this portion of air won't be cooling as efficiently what we're going to do is i've extended some pipes i'm going to plumb one of these up and get it all plumbed into the system right we've got the feed coming in on this one going to the charge cooler out of the charge cooler down to the header tank I've got a temperature probe in the header tank to measure the water temperature currently at 19 degrees Celsius I have to apologize to my American friends because I work in Celsius what I will have is I will clip this temperature sensor so it's measuring the air temperature coming out the end of there and then we've got the temperature for that we've got a hot air gun let's see what that's running at shall we there we are guys well over 100 degrees 140 ish degrees so that'll give us a good test here we've got the thermal camera so we can check the starting temperatures the inside temperature is room temperature 21 degrees right guys we're all set up temperature probe on charge cooler pumping 20 degrees water temperature this is ready one minute on the clock let's try it for one minute see what the end temperature is shall we Right, there we are. It reached a maximum of 36 degrees. There we have it, the next one set up. This is the eBay one. We've got the temperature probe set up in there. 22 degrees, we've gone up a little bit, but that's ambient temperature that's gone up. Same with the water, we're up a little bit on the water. 24 degrees, the inside temperature of the charge cooler, so that's more or less ambient. And go. All the settings are exactly the same, I've not touched anything.
don't know about you guys but that's literally not moved that did not move at all right I tell you what we'll do we'll leave it all set up exactly as it is I'll turn this up full There we are, 300 degrees coming out the end of there. Let's leave it for two minutes on the clock, see what happens to the temperatures, and then we'll try that one. Full power, two minutes on the clock, starting temperature 23 degrees, water 23 degrees. There's no fans turned on on the front. This is just literally the system circulating. Let's go. Remember, this thing's putting out 250, 300 degrees Celsius. Water temperature's up at 27 degrees, so I'll leave this running for a minute, get it back down so we can do the next, next test. I'm actually really impressed with this so far. We'll do the other one, then we'll have a talk about it. I'll let this water cool down first, get that back down to 23 degrees. One thing I've learnt is the fans on the charge cooler radiator make a massive difference. That was sat at 27 degrees forever that. It was pumping round just sat at 27. I've turned the fans on on the front and it's dropped down within two minutes. Right there we are all set up. Two minutes on the clock, full power on the air gun. 22.3 degrees we're reading in there. 22.6 degrees on the water. Let's go. Twenty seven degrees nearly, more more or less the same water temperature. But this was a lot higher. Put the fans on again to cool it down. That's dropping it down nicely. Right, just a quick recap. This one's the AVG, these cost about four hundred pounds. This is just a eBay one. I think this cost me one hundred and twenty pounds. Well, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm quite shocked actually, I think that's convinced me enough to change over to the cheap charge cooler. The cheap one seemed to hold its own quite well. The the AVG one, it seemed to have got a, a higher flow rate of air going through it from holding my hand in front of it, but the temperatures coming out the end were quite a bit higher. The, the, the cheap one was quite consistent all the time actually, I, I'm really shocked. Guys comment below. Let me know what you think of the experiment. Let me know if you think I did it right. Let me know if you think I could have done anything different. And comment on what you think of the results as well yourself. Subscribe. 
like comment that helps out loads and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers